I'm Kurt from Studio 22 and I'd like to introduce the JYC remote control. I've chosen a wonderful evening to visit the famous London Eye landmark in London. I'll be using my Canon 60D with a 16 to 35 L series lens supported on my Manfrotto 055 tripod. The idea is to shoot a sequence of 400 individual images and play them back in a movie clip at approximately 25 frames per second. This will produce a mini time lapse clip of more or less 12 seconds. By using the JYC remote control, I'm able to program it to take an exposure every 10 seconds continuously. I've set my 60D on auto exposure in aperture priority and selected an aperture of f22. This way the camera will alter the shutter speed for each exposure. I've also selected a film speed of 100 ASA. By using these settings I ensure I get longer exposure times as it gets darker. The idea of longer exposure times is to get a blur effect from all the moving lights. It starts with exposures of 1 60th of a second and ends up about 70 minutes later with 30 second exposures, all controlled automatically by the JYC controller. I created the clip, which you'll see in a couple of seconds, all by dropping individual images into iMovie on my iMac. This can be done in uh, one of the Windows programs as well. I then create a movie and play it back at high speed to produce approximately a 25 frame per second frame rate. I'll tell you more about setting the JYC remote controller after the clip. I'm just going to show you a, a nice good close-up over there. Uh, looking across the top bar, you can see your delay, your long interval and number as well as the little music note. And uh, that gets controlled by using your guide on the outside of the set button. So starting I can set, pushing the set button, I can allow the delay, in other words the first exposure is only taken after, uh, in this case, 99 hours time. So you can control exactly when you want the first exposure to start. I don't want to wait that long, so we're going to go back to zero. And that's of course for minutes and seconds. If we then go over to long, this is controlling the length of your exposure time. So if each exposure that you want to photograph is going to be one minute, you would click on set, go to your minutes and go up. So each exposure time will be one minute long. We're also not going to do that for our exercise. Uh, moving on to the next one is the interval. I've set it for 20 seconds, meaning uh, every exposure will be taken with a 20 second gap or a 20 second interval. Once again, up to 99 hours, so you could literally set uh, one exposure every hour, which is great for uh, watching flowers grow or whatever uh, time-lapse photography you might be interested in doing. Uh, moving over one more time, is to, with a little N on the top, is the number of exposures. I've set 300 exposures. You can go up to infinity or about 399. So after 399, your option is infinity. Uh, the last option on the right is sound. You have a little beep that beeps every time the exposure is going to be on. You can uh, put that on or off. Okay, and we're back to the clear screen. Uh, to activate, you press on the start button and it starts counting down and it shows you that one exposure has been taken, so your 299 will go 298. Um, you should be able to hear the camera going off as well, just above me. I just want to show you the wireless version. You'll notice that the transmitter is identical, it just has no cable connecting. The receiver, which plugs into your Canon camera, is available in uh, different models. You'll have to purchase the model that suits your camera. Uh, this particular one will fit the 5D. For more information on this or any of the Studio 22 products, please visit the Studio 22 website on www.studio22.co.za. Thanks for watching.